morning. Uh, Senator Zach Walls live in Coralville. I uh, represent the west side of Iowa City, Coralville, uh, rural Johnson County, going up to Solon, and then east over to Cedar County, and down into Muscatine County, representing the community of Wilton. Uh, serving in my first year as the Senate Minority Leader, uh, my first term elected in 2018. Uh, just a couple of things that we've been working on and that we're, we're tracking very closely. Uh, something that I know that the league has a lot of interest in is the redistricting process. Uh, this is, of course, the year where uh, once a decade, uh, the state <clears throat> redraws all of the lines for our legislative districts and our congressional districts. And so this is going to be, um, you know, obviously a year that has a lot of importance for the next decade. Uh, one of the things that we learned in the last few weeks uh, that has some pretty serious ramifications for redistricting is that the previous uh, presidential administration um, ran into a lot of trouble with uh, the census. And so the data coming down from the federal government has actually been delayed, uh, potentially past when the Iowa Constitution says the lines have to be drawn by. If we miss that deadline because of the delay in the, set, the federal census data, the state Supreme Court has to dr cause the lines to be drawn. Uh, the Constitution does not spell out how exactly that process will unfold, uh, but we expect that they would work with the Legislative Services Agency, the nonpartisan uh, group of folks who ordinarily would be tasked with drawing maps for consideration by the legislature. Uh, and so it's definitely going to be an unusual process this year. Uh, we are watching very closely to ensure that there are no um, shenanigans. And we're, you know, uh, very, very um, interested in making sure that this is, is done fairly uh, and that when this process is complete, we have a fair set of maps uh, and that we do not have politicians picking their voters. So um, I know that's only one issue, but it's an issue that affects every other issue because it determines uh, in many ways the balance of the legislature. We are very fortunate to have a redistricting process in Iowa that is in many ways a model for the rest of the country. Uh, historically, been very nonpartisan, and we're just hoping that we can continue that legacy this year.